Hello, welcome to Weena Budgets. I'm Edwina and today we're going to be stuffing my variable cash envelopes for the second pay period in November. This is going to be my largest stuffing in the month because I stuff and plan for about four weeks out. Currently I reserved the first and last paycheck for my largest expenses and fixed variables. Now, my last two big stuffings were a bust if I had to admit it to myself and the community. <laughs> Not complete failures, but I definitely understuffed in certain categories and didn't hit the mark for my four week goal, but that is okay because I'm in my learning curve phase. If you're watching this for the first time and you're new to budgeting, maybe not sure about this system or whether budgeting is for you, let me tell you, <laughs> there will be wins, there will be losses initially, but it's the consistency that matters most no matter what style you ultimately choose. So on that note, I've decided to debut a new wallet. This is my A7 wallet. I just got this off of Amazon. And this is so I could actually break down my money into smaller amounts and carry a week's worth of money. Um, I was watching Hot Mess Mom's cash stuffing and thought it was brilliant that she split her grocery expenses so she wouldn't go over budget for each week. I'm doing it for that reason and so that I'm not carrying around $900 or so like a maniac. Um, so I'll just quickly show you what I have in this wallet currently. I have all my cards of course, but I have groceries, let me turn that, personal care, dining out, and shopping, which are the four categories that I'll probably be using weekly. So I went ahead and just made little envelopes for those. I have additional ones, so I may put some more in there. I don't know yet. So on to the other envelope or wallet. This is my main wallet that I was using, but now I'm gonna use the smaller A7 wallet um, on my daily, weekly. This is gonna go with me in my purse. This one is probably gonna stay at home. It'll hold most of the cash in there um, from week to week. Currently, all my envelopes are empty, so we are gonna be starting fresh, by the way. So I made a little form. You know, I love my forms. And it breaks down my budget, my cash budget envelopes form. And we have all the categories. Hopefully I remember how to break up the money because we're gonna be stuffing a large amount of money today. So we're starting off with groceries and groceries for the four week period is gonna be getting $300. That's how much I've budgeted. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and hopefully I stay within my four weeks budget. I don't, I don't under budget. I don't have to borrow money from here and there. Um, that's my goal. Um, because Thanksgiving's coming up, I had to contribute a little bit more. So that's gonna work out to about $75 a week. And in about two weeks, I'm gonna go ahead and do an update just to see where we're at. Um, and that will be just after Thanksgiving. So, and I'm gonna put 75 into my little wallet and carry that around with me. So let's go ahead and stuff this. So we need, groceries needs 300. So we're gonna go ahead and take 12 20s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 20s. We're going to do four 10s. One, two, three, four. Four. I should have wrote this down and we're going to do four fives because we need to be able to break it up into $75 at a time. And let's just go ahead and count that out. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, Five ninety five three. Sorry about that little pause. I had to think. <laughs> Counting under pressure. We'll go ahead and we'll put that in the groceries envelope. 
and I'm just going to break it down later. I won't bore you guys with that. So groceries, and I'm definitely going to start using these budget sheets. Watch me say that, and the next time there's like nothing on there. But no, I'm really definitely going to start using my budget sheets. I think having that extra, I don't know. I don't know what to call it, but just having that extra visual accountability, whatever you want to call it, will be helpful going forward. We'll see if it helps. How about that? So next up, we have personal care. Personal care is going to get $80, so that's going to break down into about $20 later for the smaller wallet. So let's go ahead and we're just going to get that for 20s. One, two, three, four. Personal care. Okay, next up is dining out. Dining out, we actually increased that. I think we gave myself $50 for four weeks. Um, that wasn't realistic at all. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give myself $100, $25 a week and see how we do there. And I may not spend all $100. That'd be great. I may have rollover or extra for sinking and savings funds, but I'm going to give myself a little bit buffer right now. So we're just going to go ahead and give dining out four twenties since it's going to work out to 25 a week and four fives. One, two, three, four, five, 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, 100. See, I can count. Hopefully this is an off screen. Let's put that right there so you guys can see it. So next up is health. Okay, so story time. I was recently sick and had to go to urgent care and pay my copay and for medications. And that made me realize that I really need to beef up my health and medical expenses. I had some money in there, but I did not have enough to pay all that. So I had to use my credit card. And that illness actually just hit me out of nowhere. So this go around, I'm going to go ahead and give health 160. I think I just gave myself 80 for health, um, which would have covered all my normal medications and just um, normal therapy copay. But it was not enough for this out of the blue sickness. So we're giving you 160. So we're just going to get that 820s. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60. Okay, next up we have Beauty. Beauty's gonna get its normal 55. That was fine, that was perfect. Um, my wax titian or esthetician, she appreciated her tip. So um, we're just going to go ahead and give that two 20s, a 10, and a 5. Okay, next up is shopping. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> so there are a couple of items in my Amazon cart. I've been good. I didn't use my credit card. They've just been sitting there for weeks and weeks. So I'm showing some restraint, a little bit of restraint. And for the four week period, we're gonna go ahead and give shopping 160. So we're gonna just give it 820s once again. And that breaks down to like $40 a week, which is more than enough, really. So 
20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60. I'm down to two 20s. I'm hoping I did my math right. <laughs> Yeah, shopping something I have to work on. I can be impulsive like most people. But I'm really starting to um, separate in my mind what's a want, what's a need. And save for the things that I want and purchase the things that I need immediately. Okay. Next up is Hadley. Hadley's going to get $20. She's got food. She's got immunizations, she's got medication, she's got everything she needs. She just needs $20 to go around. My little Hadley bear. Next up, housing. That was my new category that I said that I wanted to establish. And that's basically for um, household goods, you know, um, dish soap, laundry shit soap. Um, toilet paper, that sort of stuff that I just need around the house. Um, I realize that I do actually need that category if I don't want to dump jump into my sinking funds or, you know, my shopping fund because I'm not, mm -mm, we need that shopping fund and um, my personal care stuff. So we're going to go ahead and give housing its own little envelope. And we're going to give it $50. So 20, two tens, and a five. So 20, 30, 40, five, <laughs> and another five makes 50. I promise I'll get my counting together. Okay, so I made this envelope for gas debt right now. Currently, I pay gas using my credit card, but at some point, I'm going to move to a cash system for paying for gas. I just haven't yet budgeted that in to an envelope, which is ridiculous because if I can pay the credit card bill, I can definitely pay the gas debt. So I just need to build this one up. Um you know, and get rid of that credit card completely. I pay it off every single month, so I'm not paying the interest. Had it just been sitting there and I'm not paying the minimum pay payments, I'm paying off the entire credit card, but I am gonna move to a cash system. So we'll get back to this envelope one day. And it looks like I have some money left. Let me see how much we have left. Now that we stuffed everything, we have $10 left. And I will likely put this 10 into my $5 challenge. Um, actually, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and stuff it into my $5 challenge. We'll do that right now. Pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> that was my light falling. See what we have in fives actually. Since we're here, we might as well. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. This makes 40, 45. That's perfect. So I got to remember to put that in on my sinking and savings funds form. Well, that's all for my stuffing today. In total, we stuffed $925 plus the extra 10, so $935 for a four week period. I'm really hoping that I can stick to my envelope budgets because honestly, the last four week period, I had to do a lot of adjustments and being sick hit my pockets and my credit cards hard. 
but I was able to pay off all the balances and have something to stuff with, which is something that I'm grateful for, believe me. If you like my content, please subscribe, hit that little bell, and like. As always, stay blessed and bye until next time.